parties do you throw in order to have me on probation? Wow, that's it. If I can say anything, I know. I heard there's like a, a tape of him like raping some chick or something. That he Nigel Houston is the most controversial skater of all time, having numerous scandals to do with assault, partying, and rape, which have damaged the reputation of him throughout his career. But to understand how Nigel became so hated, we need to understand how it all began. At 10 years old, Nigel rocking long dreads was loved by fans for his part in Elementality Volume 1, outshining top skaters such as Bam Margera and Tyler Bledsoe. I think I can safely say that we've never seen a 10 year old with this much talent before or since, and there's a good chance we never will. In 2012, Nigel was introduced to the DC Pro roster, and whilst becoming one of the best skaters in the world, he began developing the worst reputation in skating. A party at pro skater Ryan Sheckler's house was amid the first rape allegations against Nigel Houston. Apparently, there was a party at Ryan Sheckler's house not too long ago, and a few people went ham on a girl, including Nigel, Chase Webb, and a few other people all at the same time. David Lowy recorded it on his cell phone, heard this from some pretty reliable people too. These allegations would never be taken seriously, and this never turned into any serious action from sponsors or competitions. Skipping to 2014, the release of Fade to Black would begin Nigel's reputation as a sellout due to his use of production teams, his massive sponsorships, and the biggest criticism of all, Nigel's style of skating. Nigel's good, one of skateboarding's best, but his skating doesn't speak to me. There's a certain polish, an air of artifice to it. It's perfect, but it's not my version of skateboarding. Shortly after this, Nigel began losing touch with his fans. His stupid actions and flexing on Instagram triggered fans the most. It seems that the fans that supported him since the beginning were the ones most frustrated. Go back to the origins of humility, brother. Tell me you get sponsored without telling me you get sponsored. I'm literally unfollowing. Now you're not even like a real skater anymore. The real reason people began hating Nigel Houston is because of how unrelatable he became. Skating normal rails gets boring, you know? I mean, I've skated so many rails since I was so young and like, it just honestly gets kind of old. When it comes to competition, it seems Nigel is only there for the money rather than to have fun. Nigel's behavior seems more of a young celebrity than a skater, constantly getting into trouble for house parties or for fighting. This showed in video parts as they began to shy further and further away from the style of mainstream skating, now using an entire cruise and professional equipment, although things would get even worse for Nigel Houston. It doesn't really ring like skateboarding to me at all. Did that actually happen or? Uh, I don't know if it happened. I mean, I've heard all sorts of weird shit about him and his friends doing whatever goes on in his house. I guess if I can say anything, I know I heard there's like a, a tape of him like raping some chick or something at him and some of his friends, something like that. God damn, yo. Jesus, fuck. The hell is he thinking? Probably not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I mean, I hate to hate, I hate to laugh about something or even bring it up, but that's just I've heard that story from so many people, and like, jeez, it's like a videotape going around. I don't know. Twenty seven. That clip is Chima Ferguson speaking about a tape that rumored to be spreading around the skating industry. In these tweets, a user called Amy details her experience at a party in the summer of 2016 at Nigel's house when she was 19. The tweets detail being offered alcohol underage, linked unwanted touching, and more. It's suspected that the tape that Chima Ferguson is talking about is directly linked to the situation with Amy, but it was never confirmed and there's been no proof of it. Throughout this period of time, Nigel had just released a shoe with Nike SB, and these rape allegations began to circulate among the skateboarding community. Instagram page Pro Skateboarding News posted the tweets, and within days, the account was deleted. The account had 100,000 followers, and allegedly, the account was deleted by Nike. The situation is still addressed by fans today, with most of Nigel's social media receiving hate comments such as, the fact you act like what happened back in 2016 never happened is disgusting. You are a rapist. Probably the same mansion raped that girl. Absolute pig. Amy from Twitter has reported the situation to the police. In 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020, although the district attorney refused to pursue any investigation. Stoke Much Magazine told USA Skateboarding about the allegations before the 2021 Olympics, although Josh Friedberg responded with a copy and paste prompt from the USA Skateboarding website. Stoke Much Magazine followed up and received no response. Zach Moldoff, owner of the magazine, went on to say, USA Skateboarding has demonstrated that no price is too large to bring skateboarding to the Olympic stage, and their complicitness with clearly documented abuse crosses a line that renders the shining fruits of the Olympic institution worthless. Nigel currently has no charges against him and has had no disciplinary action by any competition or sponsor. His actions have overshadowed his monumental video parts and performances in SLS and the Olympics. His entitled behaviour and rape allegations against him are the reason why people hate 
Najee Houston.